Hello everyone and welcome back to Final Fantasy 16. Last time things went a little wild. <laughs> uh, we made it to the top of the keep in the search for the fire dominant or who we believe to be the fire dominant and uh, we met uh, with Benedicta at the top of the tower and did battle with her and then things <laughs> fell apart from there. Yeah, things spiraled <laughs> quickly. <laughs> uh, we discovered that Clive... I, I really appreciate the slow pan around. The, it's funny it's because my the trick. camera keeps hitting something behind me and popping <laughs> forward and then popping back. <laughs> they, <laughs> oh, yeah, you were clipping through something. <laughs> yeah, it's when you're reminded that the camera's a physical object. Hey, is there a, is there a photo mode in this? I didn't even like. I have no idea. Can you? Can you I oh, just pause on the summary because I want to see if there's a photo mode. Uh, because if there is, I want to take nice pictures. That would be really cool. If there is, maybe it's unlocked later. We find a camera and then we unlock. <laughs> You're like, mode. whoa, <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, so anyway, uh, <laughs> last time we uh, fought, uh, we fought Benedicta. Uh, at the top of the tower as we're trying to reach the fire dominant, uh, we defeated her in battle first time, and we uh, extracted her powers of Garuda, and it looks like Clive has the- Don't me throw you back in there now, eh? Okay, That's okay, okay. That's the jailer. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> I, did, I, I thought I could walk to the top of the stairs without somebody. Just, just go back uh, to panning the I camera. Have, I'll put the controller <laughs> down. You you give the summary, Alice, and okay. I won't touch it. <laughs> <laughs> Just do a camera pan again. I'll go back to doing a camera pan. <laughs> Keep talking. Okay. Uh, we discovered that Clive has the ability to extract the powers from dominance of their icons uh, to some extent. We don't fully understand how or why that happens, but it does. Um, we then proceeded to... Uh, chase after uh, uh, Benedicta again. We did battle with her a second time. Um, well, after she after she, she went berserk mode and became Garuda. Yeah, actually, I guess we fought her uh, uh, in a one-two time, then extracted her powers. Uh, in her rage, as she was trying to uh, call back Garuda and, you know, reliving some of her past trauma, uh, she erupted into Garuda's form and lost control. Uh, we then uh, raced over to the whatever the 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 point of the tempest or whatever was the the, the, the eye tempest. of the storm I yeah, the eye, the eye of, of the tempest, tempest. thank you <laughs> the point <laughs> this is a great summary Alice. I'm so <laughs> sorry you're there doing was great. so much <laughs> you keep interrupting me <laughs> I keep interrupting me uh we we uh went to the uh, Eye of the Tempest to fight Garuda in her, her giant bird form while also confronting uh, the fire dominant uh, and then <laughs> proceeded to transform into Ifrit and then have a big fucking kaiju battle in the forest uh, we totally lost control of our powers uh, Sid dropped in and uh, shut us down right at the very end but not until we'd already murdered benedicta yes we did which is a real shame because as i started to say last episode what what i like about benedicta's writing towards like a, towards the end is that i i felt frustrated because i knew that things could have turned out differently yeah for her. There, there was a version of of things where it didn't go this way and i think that's kind of satisfying actually mm -hmm. as, as a viewer knowing things could have gone differently but also knowing that they didn't yeah and and having to reconcile those two things mm -hmm. agreed she's a well-written tragic character um so oh yeah and we saw odin sorry excuse me we saw a turtle <laughs> we, where's we, my pet command yeah right what the fuck you're too you're you're too full of guilt to pet the dog right now god damn i'm very sorry um we saw uh uh, Ramu's full form that that Sid took, and we also got a little glimpse of a battle I happening in the background uh, between uh, the Wallodians and uh, the Sonbrekians, uh, between their two dominants, uh, Odin and my boy Bahamut. Bahamut, anyway. who looks very noodly, but 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 pretty cool. Yeah, I know you're not wild about the design, but I kind of like him. I like that he looks like whippy. I mean, yeah, no, no, it's still cool. Yeah, he's still cool. Um, okay. Although, I, I, mm. Final Fantasy X Bahamut will be best Bahamut forever and always. I love that boy. Uh, I miss him. 
<laughs> Final, uh, yeah, I, I agree. And he's just, he's got good shape. Um, but anyway, so that's my this. summary. I don't know why this is. Yeah, it's, it was good. <laughs> well done. <laughs> there was a lot last time. 12 out of 10. <laughs> Jaina did excellent. We also had um, a nice little debrief chat uh, immediately afterwards of just like how amazing uh, this game feels. And it's just so uh, polished and balanced fun. with its story and its scale and its flow, like flowing between fights and story beats just feels so um, effortless. And I'm, yeah, I'm really enjoying this game. I, I'm, I'm, I'm so in it now, honestly, Fuck is where, yeah. where I'm at. I'm, I'm I'm really impressed by it. I, yeah. I think I described it as the most AAA feeling game I played in a while, yes. and and I say that in in a good way. Hundred percent. Hey, bud. Finally crawled out of the crypt, eh? You look like it. Oh yeah. Although I thank you for doing us the courtesy of covering up. Don't. And they're gonna keep talking, so. Well, oh, still have a bit of fight left in you. Then listen, I've arranged a meeting with Gav. In case you've forgotten. You're the one he's been putting his nose to work for. For nothing. Just listen. While you've been relaxing in your cell, Gav's been busy sniffing out your dominance. And according to his last report, he's picked up the scent. Gav's gone to a fair bit of trouble for you. The least you can do is hear the poor bugger out. He's going to meet us at the King's Fall. Pack your stuff. We'll leave as soon as you're ready. Look at this cool sword I just unlocked. Uh, that's really fucking with the, cool. With the feathers on it. Yeah. I was also going to say just a little addition to my... And what do you want? Uh, my summary Coin at the end. weighing you down. Um, yeah. Clive has also come to the realization that he is the one that has killed his brother uh, because he is the one that channeled You're rubbing me blind, Ifrit. you know. Uh, and you'll not find a better price than that. Is it a just very? Gonna keep on. I'm sorry, yes. it's just it's just passive. Shit, huh? I, don't you. <laughs> so I don't know what to tell you. So loud. I don't know what to tell you. It better all be. He's in a low place right oh now. God. So. Oh, don't. I'm not much bothered either way. Yeah, I don't. I don't be think quick. things could get much worse for so our good friend Clive. Yeah. Um. Okay. We're gonna. Let's see. At least, uh, Sid had the wherewithal and oh, I don't know kindness I do this word, but something to bring us back and be like come on man like I yeah. don't know how far that's going to go you know but at least for now he's like Let, let's keep moving we need to we need to figure some shit out it's, look it's out. better than the alternative yeah, um, truly yeah yeah, we got it. And we I got can't it. reinforce my cool big sword. Okay. All right. Anything to anything Fine. to equip, or did you just equip I did. The stuff you I, got? I did through all of that. We got the new sword. We got a new sash. Do we, we got a new. Do we all look any different? I'm gonna look at our. Like, we got sash our sword looks stuff. different. Our sword looks super fucking cool. Yeah, I, I think that's the only thing that changes. I was gonna see. Oh, just really like we keep the same look of our armor. I'm pretty sure. Okay, that's cool. If not, it's it's subtle. That's so, fair. Yeah. The sword looks super cool. Um, okay, so we're trying to find. Journey to the King's Fall because we're, Gav's there and is going to uh, give us a little clue as to what's going on with the Dominant. I think there's new things to read for each of those. Um, okay. I'm, I just, I'm just curious. Clive is there. Yeah. Um, I think I saw blue dots. Not Sid's hideaway, but the other three. Yeah. It's Gav! Rat King! Sid's faithful scout! who puts his legendary nose to work in tracking the movements of slaves, soldiers, and any other object of interest to the hideaway. He really just is a little sniffer. Yeah. You can just... Wait, I didn't finish reading it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> the ever agreeable fellow, only too gladly delving behind enemy lines if he can get a good story or two out of it. I, I think they're updated with information we just got. Oh. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it's good part. It's good summary. I don't know. It's fine. Uh, <laughs> just sorry, okay, right. sure. Can... A mysterious man that may believe uh, that many believe to be a dominant of fire. Clive's first saw him at the Phoenix Gate on the night of the Imperial invasion, and for years believed him to be the dominant of the icon that killed his brother. But to Clive's eternal chagrin, he was proven of, uh, of 
it was proved otherwise. Yep, sure was. Yeah, I just. Um, <laughs> what does they have to say about Clive right now? That that's he's what I'm the wondering. dominant. <laughs> that he is just that did it? some stuff. Yeah. Okay. That's what I mean. It's just been updated. The reason they've been updated is because we got more information. Okay. Okay, that's fair. Which I get, did just walk us through. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I love using the the ATL. I just I I don't think there's a point in rereading the same sections over and over unless there's areas where we were we're curious about the updates or we we think information that we have might not be consistent with what the game is giving us. That's fair. Yeah. Okay. 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 To King's Fall we go? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. There we go. All right. Gav, what do you have for us? What do you have for us, Rat Well, King? I mean, I think we think this guy is a dominant of fire. Yes. I mean, he seems to be. Well, yeah. Sure. I mean, I don't know. And then also, as we're bringing up in the fight, whether there's a separation between the person that Clive's seen and the person who was kidnapped by Benedicta. Are yes. they the same person? Yes, that is a good question. Oh, excuse me. Oh, my God. Not so long ago, this here was a thriving trade route. Then the blight came. The people left. And just like that, it was deserted. Making it the perfect little shortcut. Gab's waiting for us up ahead. Come on. Oh, buddy. Still feeling sorry for yourself? Don't. Please. Think about it, Clive. The rumors all point to... That was an Imperial signal. Gav. They shouldn't be here. Mm. The old fort's been abandoned for years. Our little chat can wait. I need to see what the bastards are up to. You go on ahead and meet up with Gav. But we both know that... No buts about it. So it seems like Sid is thinking that this person might be Joshua. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Because because there are rumors completely outside of Clive that this person is a dominant of fire. Yeah. And if there's only two dominant of fires and one couldn't have been born as the new dominant of the Phoenix. Okay. I'm just, I'm, yeah. There we go. There's my pet, pet command. Pet the boy. Oh, give him a treat. Good. That's a good okay. dog. This is stupid. I'm the dominant of fire. We sent Gav on a wild goose chase. Yeah. Clearly, clearly Sid has, has cotton on to something, and I, I can't imagine what else it would be, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. I, that's what I think that he's thinking. I mean, he seems to be putting things together okay. pretty well. Oh, well. And for what? And, uh, spiders. Well, they're attacking you. That's why. <laughs> Well, we came into their house. That's true. Garuda, lend me your we strength. Did. Yeah. Um. Yeah, Clive. And he's never. He doesn't like fighting in the best of times. Yeah. He, and this is not a best of times. That's very true. He he does not like the fight. Um. He likes doing super flippy, cool attacks. Yeah. But <laughs> that. I like the music here. Too. I know it's so <laughs> solemn with all these spiders. <laughs> As you just obliterate all these spiders. <laughs> I want that green, whatever that is. Ew, Four sharp fangs. Sharp fangs. Did we even look at what those were? I don't think so. It's crafting materials. Okay. Oh yeah, I guess you just use them. Yeah, to they're they're all crafting materials. Yeah. Cool. Cool. And some money. Okay. So okay. So right now, Clive is thinking that he is the dominant of fire. I mean, he's well, he is. Yeah, he's the dominant for Efri. Like, and uh, just, I mean, as we know, ooh. What now? Ooh. Hi. This game can't go like four minutes without a big fight. <laughs> I don't know whether that's a critique. I just, it, it, it is true. This game is uh, like, <laughs> you will get bored. So. So you better be, always be fighting. Always be fighting. <laughs> that was cool. Um, I'm still curious about uh, Ramu and Odin because those both appeared to be uh, lightning icons. Well, unless one is light and one is dark, or one is uh, one is light and one is lightning, or one is dark and one is lightning. Yes, yeah, entirely possible. I mean, it, it seems like that maybe Ramu is is the is the lightning one. Well, let's let's quickly um, 
eight icons, right? Eight icons. Eight icons. So, you know, fire, water, earth, lightning, air. Air. Light and dark. Light and dark. That's it. And But we know that we've got doubled up on fire. Yeah. So that's nine. No, no wait. No, that's no, eight. No, there, no, then we're missing one. That was seven. And then, we, no, there's eight. And then there all are also, there's also an extra one. Like, Sid didn't know about the, the second fire one. And he oh. said there were eight. Oh, oh One oh, for I each see. element. Okay, so, I mean, we have wind for Garuda. We have ice. Probably. Ice for Sh Oh, yeah, ice. Ice for Shiva. Earth. The Earth one. I, I said Earth. fire. Yeah, I, I said, I guess the question is, is there a water one and a, um, an ice help. one? Okay. I mean, I guess maybe, uh... I guess Bahamut could be a, wa a water one, but that doesn't make much sense. I feel like he's more light. Yeah. Than, yeah. I guess, yeah, maybe Odin and Bahamut are dark and light. Um, if they're diametrically opposed, yeah. yeah, that's just what I figure. That would make sense. Yeah. And it's very easy to make dark or light look like lightning. So. Very true. <laughs> yeah. I was actually just about to say that. Like, you can, yeah. you can make that magic lightning-like. Yeah. Um, Oh. What were, I mean, were, those were, I, I mean, the ones we were saying, are they the elements that are in, like, the rest of the Final Fantasy games? I feel like I'm... No, I think you're right. Yeah, yeah that's okay. what, I'm trying to think of the, of Final Fantasy elements. So, that makes sense. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, you're good. Oh, nice. Whoopee. You go down. Oh my god. Oh my Just god. Go down. My wounds, boy. <laughs> there we go. There we go. All right. Okay. Onward. Onward we go. I don't care about this troll. No, we're just trying to get to Gav, who Minotaur. is apparently a semi regular character. <laughs> Who'd have thought? I'm all, I'm all for it. Yeah. <laughs> just gonna look at this troll. Yeah, because we murdered. Well, or Minotaur. Minotaur, sorry. It's another person we murdered. Yeah. Oh. Another perfect little shortcut, Sid. Straight to a nest of bloodthirsty beasts. There's some truth in that. Yeah. <laughs> well, shortcuts are usually, uh, you know, abandoned for a reason. Abandoned in shortcuts for a reason. Yeah. Because <laughs> they got shit in them. Oh, word. <laughs> Can't be much further now. Okay. Oh, we got some yeah, let's make this bug quick. enemies in here. We got like dragonflies and spiders. Yep. But the music is still serene and, it is and so solemn. It is. Yeah. Well, I mean, fly doesn't. I can imagine doesn't even know what to fucking do with himself now. No. Because all of this drive was to find the Domino of Fire that he believed killed his brother, and now that he realizes that it was him that fought his brother. Yeah. yeah. I feel like on a mechanical level, it's actually kind of clever because it shows that it's like, I, I imagine that a soundtrack in a game is supposed to mirror the, the like place, the mental like image of the situation from the perspective of the character that's in it. Yeah. And this, his heart is not in this fight at all. There's just nothing. Yeah. It's, it's well composed. And a welcome to the song. <laughs> this is what this is what you want from me, game. This is what you want. <laughs> Shooting from the air. That's cool. Okay. Ooh, good job, Torgal. Thank you, Torgal. Bringing them down. Can you get this one too? Thank you. Yeah. Big hornets. Jesus. Yeah, they're not my favorite thing. No. I can see why I can see why Clive's heart is not in this one. <laughs> yeah, I don't love killing them. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, onward. Big, big pointy spider. No. Yeah. Ooh, that's very. Pointy. Wait, look at that sky. Wait, look up at the sky. Yeah. Oh, God rays. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> it's a good sky box. Yeah, we're gonna drop down here. Yeah. Or Maybe. along the We're side. We're do this. Gonna, ooh, do, 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 along do. the side. Ooh. It's so f it just feels very funny. <laughs> he takes it so fast. <laughs> yeah, he did just kind of roll right. Another? Oh, come on. Let me through. I mean, a greed Clive. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> all right. Okay. All right. My wound. 
boy. Fucking hell! That'll help. Okay. Jeez, I don't really? Do this. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. Oh, potions. Yeah. Oh, he's almost half staggered, and then you can probably bring him down. Yeah, I know. I'll yeah. use my little talony thing. Yeah. Nice. And then Torgo totally just swoops in. Oh, that's so cool, and you can get them to full stagger way faster. Because you do like a lot of damage. Yeah. That's awesome. Okay. Nice. Alright, we'll just focus on this and hope that I get my other attack back. Fast enough. Oh, it's almost there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. That's pretty good. Okay. I'll take it. I feel like these Minotaurs have way more health than they need to have. That's most enemies in the game. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> oh, ultimate nice. boy! <laughs> ultimate boy! <laughs> A little help. Oh, oh, yeah. I do like the, the bring them down move. Yeah, it, it's cool. Mm -hmm. Whoa! Whoa! There's a lot going on right Whoa. there. <laughs> a lot going on. Whoa! <laughs> Come on. Sick him, boy. <laughs> Got him. Sick him, on. <laughs> nice. I can't believe it's still not fucking dead. Yeah. Yeah, fuck you. Come on. Fuck you! What the hell? That's unfortunate. I think we can all agree. Thank you, boy. I can't do it. No! That's really unfortunate. Are you fucking kidding me? Fine. We d we stayed alive through that whole three-stage Garuda fight, and then some random-ass Minotaur kills us. I guess that, you know, sometimes it's life. <laughs> God, Clive really is in a low <laughs> spot. Jesus, and you got hit by the sand boom again! <laughs> The whiplash between last episode and this one. If it, I mean, the music isn't giving me much to work with here. I'm not feeling the, 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 you know, the, I'm not feeling it. Yeah, I, and like I said, neither is Clive, so it, it makes sense. Uh, if, if anything, again, like I was saying in between episodes, this game is very good at, for, you know, aligning the fights with the flow of the story. Like, yes. Everything is very story driven. And sometimes things are monotonous and a, and a task you don't want to do because sometimes it's how life is. Yeah, I, that only goes so far in a video game yes, though. I, 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 I agree with that. I didn't expect there to be fighting in this this <laughs> episode. I guess I I honestly didn't either. I thought this. I was thought gonna... we were gonna talk. Oh my god, this thing hits so much. I know. I just <laughs> fucking shit. Oh, nice, 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 nice. Yes. 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 Ow. Oh, you can cover. Fuck oh me. Fuck you. This guy sucks. I hate him. <laughs> this arena also isn't like. I don't the like best. it. I can't see My shit. Wounds, boy. <laughs> My wounds, boy. I can't see shit. Oh, fucking <laughs> God damn it. Sorry, that's just gonna, That'll help. This is gonna be my reaction every time you get hit. It's <laughs> fair. Please stagger. Okay, thank God. No oh, good, he's a little under half health. <laughs> Thanks, sorry. Allison. I'm sorry, I'm not, it's not directed at you, that's directed at the thing for having too much oh, health. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I need to be supportive. I, I would appreciate some support. <laughs> look, look, he's almost dead! I, I feel <laughs> I feel utterly out on my own here. <laughs> <laughs> no, you got this. Like, you got this. At least he telegraphs his moves. <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, like, yeah. Oh, fuck it. You got this. You're all healed up. Allison. <laughs> you wanted support. <laughs> I'll just shut up. <laughs> That's not what I'm asking. It's he's fine. He's dead. It's over. <laughs> oh, damn. What was I saying about polish? You're clipping through. <laughs> oh, no. 
Please give us all. Oh, thank God. There Make go. us feel better, look, buddy. The sun's coming up. Oh, every, every, it's a better day. Everything's turning around. You did it. That was very really good. Sucks. <laughs> what a terrible time that I was, just had. This is not a fun fight. Oh my God. Okay. All right. Okay. Continue onward. I knew we were gonna get some shit on this bridge. <laughs> Bridges, man. Gotta get in there. I was about to say earlier when you're like, he's a real character, and I'm like, yeah, let's him die. He's and probably make it tragic. gonna die. <laughs> yeah. This one's a disaster. Take his head. Out of my way. Yeah, get get, get the fuck out you of here. You see, you see my big big ass sword? You think you think they give these to bearers? No, I uh. wanted this one. <laughs> I think they do give those to bears. Bears in, in general are. It's true. They actually end up with really like badass That's jobs, enough. even if they're like set to like, do them. Use. It's a really interesting. Sid brought it up earlier. It's a really interesting scenario where they've they've taken all the people who have supernatural powers and made them like second class citizens. Yes. Which admittedly is not unique. Oh, dragoon! A dragoon again? Shiny Dragoon. Ooh. Whoa! And a Ridley. And a Ridley. A Wyvern. Yep. There he is! Don't let him escape! Oh my god! Kill the deserter! Oh my god. Kill the deserter! <laughs> Sid! That was effective. <laughs> wow. Nice. Clive, what's the situation? You're late! Captain Trouble! What? The Imperials are on his tail. We have to get to him before they do. Understood. We're gonna fight together? The sword is really cool. I'm here to even the odds. Any objections? No, none at all. I'll take the dragon. You take the dragoon. Okay. Nah. Perfect. Knight of the Dying Sun. Yeah, the dragoon. All right, all right. Check in, Gina. Come on. All right, all right. You got, all right, you got this. Lock it in. We got. We're like. This is this is a fight. This is a fight. We got Sid here. We got our dog. We got our dog. Just Come on, dog. A dire wolf. Like he's amazing. He's so cool. <laughs> Just a big boy. Oh fuck. I was on the wrong. Oh no! I just used like all of my items. Oh, oh no! Yeah. Oh, God damn it! Oh no! Everyone just watched me do that. Was that? Too. I did not see it. Were you trying to direct? I was Torgal? directing Gav. Yeah, I mean not Gav. Uh, uh, Torgal. Um, but you were using potions. Yeah, I was like, why is he not? I was like, sick him, boy. Sick him, boy. <laughs> She's sick him, boy. <laughs> I wasn't even watching. I'm so sorry. It's okay. These things happen. I, I've said throughout the whole game that that was going to happen in some way, shape, or form yeah. eventually. All right. All right. I got him. Get him, boy. Bark! Sick of Toggle. I love it. Sick of Toggle. Toggle. Torgal. Okay. So like, that's what I wanted. I was like, Torgal, you're supposed to be good and responsive and nice. Why are, where are you? Guys, you're actually just chaining potions. Yeah. <laughs> Sid's yeah. looking on with disgust. <laughs> oh, nice. Nice, nice. Oh, it's so fucking cool. Oh, yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> I, I really love watching the uh, combat in this. Too. Yeah, it, it is it is satisfying. Yeah, it looks super satisfying. This time. Ooh, nice. Yeah. Oh, nice. That's cool. Uh, do you have any feelings between uh, Garuda and 
Phoenix so far? Uh, I mean, Gerda feels very floaty, um, deliberately so. It's an aerial-based, like, it, it's for up. But, um, Clive, this is gonna sound... Clive doesn't have a great way of getting up yet. Um, so, except for one of Garuda's moves, uh -huh. so it feels a little unbalanced, not in a terrible way, but... Gotcha. Oh, shit. Oh, geez. Yeah, he'll, it's fine. He'll come, he'll come down eventually. <laughs> he'll come down eventually. He's just doing it. Since when could these bastards fly? The wall goes up. Must come down. Hey, thank you. That'll do it. Yeah. Thanks, man. Bloody time waste. Alright, <laughs> nice. Come on, let's finish him off. So yeah, if I want to stay on the ground, I kinda of need to focus on uh Ifrit, but uh -huh. that one goes up. That one takes you up. Yeah, I see what you mean. Second toggle. That was a pretty cool fight. Yeah. Yeah. The, the dragoons are they they know they have a cool thing with the dragoons. Dragoons are always cool. Yeah. Oh. Oh. I'd love it if you would no. switch. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, shit. Sorry, he just wouldn't switch. Anyway, switch over. Fuck! You go down, oh, he's please. Almost dead. So close. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. The big hit at the end. Night of the Dying Sun slain. I forgot about yeah. it. <laughs> It's silly, but I do like it. <laughs> oh, we got a bunch of stuff. Oh, okay. we got a ton of shit. Nice. Oh, well, he had really cool armor. He did. Okay, Gav, let's go. All right, let's go get Gav. Come on. I do like how every time we get out of a fight, Clive is always like, <gasps> Oh my god. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> I'm oh. for a moment here. Yeah. Oh shit. That arm's no good. <laughs> shit! Don't you fucking die, Rat King. He might. He might die. But then we'd lose the information. Ah about. no! <laughs> wow, we cared a lot about Gav. <laughs> shit. Just gonna what? <laughs> just punch him out. Oh, yeah. Torgal, go get Gav. Whoa, oh, that no. works too. It's gonna flip. Gav, did you grab hold of Gav, the? Please tell me. Oh, yeah, he did. God. Give me your hand. You can't. You can't. Oh fuck, that hurts so bad. I can feel that. Oh, that's a bad. That's a bad. That's unfortunate. <gasps> We're trying. Help me! Help me, Clive! Oh, oh god. I'm gonna go beast mode. <laughs> no! Okay. 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 Oh, wow. Wow. I'm glad we we saved our our dear friend Gav. We saved our buddy. So what you got for us? <laughs> yeah. All right. As we patch up your arm, yeah. Tell us. Give us a scoop. Aww. <laughs> oh. Clive doesn't have your nose. I said he'd stumble off a cliff. I said. Well, that's a trouble <laughs> with a nose like mine. Can't help sticking it where it's not wanted. But if it wasn't for you two. My sniffing deers would be over. Thank you. Truly. So, what news? Well, I uh, found out where your friend's heading for one thing. Gav, I... Him and his mate are on their way to your old stomping ground. Rosaria. You should have seen what they did to the Imperials who tried to stop them. There's no question about it. He's a dominant fire, all right. He can't be, Clive. 
I saw you turn into an icon before my very eyes. And yes, there's a good chance it was you who killed the Phoenix. But we weren't alone, were we? There was the fellow you saw enter the whirlwind. I... I saw him too. Okay. Okay. Good to have that confirmed. You didn't dream it, Clive. He's out there. But... Who is he? Don't ask me. I don't bloody know. Oh, that's weird. That's a much weirder sequence. If well, that's I do know person. one thing. Mm. You're gonna find him and find out. After all, you swore an oath. What? You swore you'd avenge your brother's death. That you'd never rest until you'd hunted down the man responsible. So? Find out if this man's responsible and kill yourself if he's not. Sit. I... Don't thank me. Thank Gab. <laughs> Gab really doesn't <laughs> like compliments. Yeah. Thank you, Gav. Yeah, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he really doesn't like compliments. I mean, he loves compliments, yeah. but he can't take them. That was really funny. That was really cute. <laughs> this is playing with fire a little bit. That was but... really cute. Yeah, he is. <laughs> he takes big gambles. He takes really big gambles. Holy shit. I guess it's working out for him. Uh -huh. No birds returning this year. Chocobo. Chocobo. The deadlands have swallowed their roosts, like as not. <laughs> We're running out of time. Long we'll be in Rosaria in a day or two. Red or blonde? It's red. Really? Uh, like red blonde, like orange. Yeah. Back to where it all began. It's gotta be him. Yeah. They, yeah. They're showing his hair because they're gonna reveal this. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> That's why the scene is going the way it's yeah. going. <laughs> he must be stopped. It's blonde. It's like strawberry blonde. Yeah. Yeah. It's got, yeah. It's strawberry blonde. Okay. Well, okay, well there you go. to us. Okay. This game is so interesting because they do this little dance between like reveal to the player so the player knows, but then Clive catches up and then the, you reveal to the player a little bit more and then Clive catches up. So it, it is, it is an interesting dance. It, it, it works. Although I I wonder how how much how you know how long that's gonna be for. Yeah, I was actually thinking the yeah. same thing. I mean, they seem to be good at you know messing with their formula a little bit, but also like moving things along and with like some level of consistency too. So I trust I, it. Yeah, I like it because like they could have draw, drawn out that like we had that hypothesis for a little while, and they could have drawn that out for ages, and I'm dearly glad they didn't yes. to be honest uh, I think that's a great call I think in general they've been they've been like they've been getting to the point where they're like okay we figure you must you must have made this guess by now you must know by now okay yes. all right we'll go ahead and reveal it um but it is interesting to not have have Clive catch up yeah I I, I do think it sounds like Sid has some theory here so I think I'd, so yeah I think I think Sid and the player are about in the same spot. Yeah. I think I Whereas think Clive has a, a lot of baggage that he's kind of blocking his ability Spitting to catch up. Yes. Fire. He was like Absolutely. a bleeding volcano. Ever seen a volcano? What? You think I'm having you Clive. on? Clive. Your friend. She's awake. Oh, oh shit. Right. <laughs> you like literally forgot about Jill. <sighs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you might, you might have. Go to her, you fool. I I think what's actually going on is he's like I am not worthy. Yeah. To be in her presence. Yeah. Right, you lot. Enough slacking. He's got a lot on going. Goots, come with me. His brain. Gav, go and get those wounds seen to. Oh. Oh, give it to me straight. How long have I got? <laughs> so, all in good time. Let's make ourselves scarce. Oh, 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 oh. like Gav. <laughs> Jill. <laughs> well, she's like, what's that about? He's like, don't. <laughs> 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 That's not for us to bother with. Exactly. <laughs> 
I do like all the characters in this. So yeah, far. I'm really fond of them. Yeah. I gotta say. Hey, Jill, I, I can't wait to meet you. Like Jill, for real. You're. Hi. Hi. What's up? True then. It really is you. It is. Clive. You're alive. Thank God he's got like so are you something. He's got someone. We've got I still can't believe uh, it. Are your wounds healed? Yes. Thaya told me what happened. You saved my life. After nearly taking it, I had no idea. Forgive me, but how did you ever come to be there, Jill? Fighting for them. <laughs> well, the Iron Blood. They invaded not long after the news arrived about Fink's Gate. Rosaria had lost her leaders. The Duchy was in chaos. The Iron Kingdom saw our weakness and pounced upon it. They killed the men and captured the women. And took you back to Iron Home. I thought they meant to have their fun with me before the end. But the end never came. My powers awoke, and everything changed. It all happened so fast. We were told that the Iron Blood had captured a dominant and planned to bring her on their latest crusade. Hmm. They gave me a choice. To fight for them on the battlefield, or... See my countrywomen slaughtered. And they call us dominance. Mm -mm. What? <laughs> yeah. Well, we got something to tell you. What happened to Clive? What happened at Phoenix Gate? I keep still figuring that out. Yeah. It was me. I killed Joshua. No. That's not true. I know you. You wouldn't do that. It's the truth. I changed into him again. Not long ago, the second icon of fire, the one responsible. <laughs> Clive. When I think back to that night. Yeah, what's the deal with that? Yeah, that's that's what you were saying a little bit earlier. Yeah. Mad. Yeah. He spoke to me. I mean, I guess anyone can wear a hood. What did he say? It looked like older Joshua. Oh, we have found you. What did he mean? Clive, we should go back there to Phoenix Gate. I need to know what really happened. And so do you. You need to know for certain. And if what you told me is true, and you did what you said you did, then we will face it together. Jill, I... All right. You'll be needing a change of clothes, then. Out you go, your lordship. We wouldn't want you getting overexcited. He's kind of got a carrot and a stick going on here between <laughs> Jill and Sorry. Sid, which I think is helpful. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's kind of what I was. I'll see you soon, then, Clive. Kind of what I meant. Yeah. 
<sighs> okay. I should make ready too. We have a long journey ahead She's of us. She's handling things very well. I was gonna say. Jesus. Holy <laughs> shit. A lot has happened to Jill for her to be very even keeled. God, I I like her a lot. I like, I like her hair. It's really cool. Yeah. Um, and I really, I like their relationship uh, already. Yeah, like, I, I, I definitely do too. I I will admit there's a piece of me that's not suspicious in, in a broad sense, mm. but a little suspicious of, again, how even keeled she is. Maybe it's just that she was in a real bad situation and this is better. Yeah. But um, that, that's a lot to process. That is a lot. And I'm hoping that she is just like this, you know, even person and not acting as some sort of double agent or anything, you know? I like, mean, they they seem to be treating her terribly. Yeah, it's, um, it sounds like it. So, and so yeah, I, it's same, but yeah. uh, I, I'm i just keep, I'm keeping an eye on that. Yeah. Again, every scene is like good. You, Ugh. newcomer, I need help. What's the matter? It's my assistant. She left to gather soil. And I've seen nothing of her since. I cannot concentrate one whit for fear of what might have happened. Please, I beg of you. Will you go and check? I have to. Okay, know. man. <laughs> All right, sure. Oh, okay. Wow. Bow. Right. I cannot. <laughs> Marvelous. Thank you. You'll be rewarded for your time, of course. Okay. Whereabouts is she? Gotan's Bales. It's on the outskirts of Lostwig. Not the safest place for an unaccompanied bearer, perhaps, but the soil there is second to none. Now go, and do not linger. Why, it may already be. Too I was wondering late. when they were going to be like, okay, go revisit places. Yeah, you know, let's get you, let's get you back and using the world map properly now. There we go. Okay. Yep. So there, in that case, that. I, I can't it. fucking plant my plants till the I get. Soil is so important. Go find her. Till I get my dirt and my assistant back. Oh, we Moogle can't. Moogle. We can't. <laughs> they even have a Moogle. <laughs> I've never seen one in the flesh. <laughs> well, here I am, so drink it up, Gobble. You my father's best story that they live deep in the forest, and that they never reveal themselves to humans. <laughs> he knows his stuff, but what what he doesn't know is something or I something or something. Some nectar or whatever. Clive. You understand Muggle Tongue, Koopa? <laughs> so it would seem. Oh, oh, you're really weird. Finally, Koopa! <laughs> I didn't expect any voice acting. I've been trying to talk to these people ever since the winds carried me here, but none of them understand a word I've said. Oh, God damn it! <laughs> How are you supposed to read any of that? <laughs> But now you're here, my pom pom's safe at last. You can hear me. I can actually hear me, Koopa. <laughs> that one lasted long <laughs> enough. Or you just got faster at it. God. All right, this is Nectar. Okay, hey, Nectar. <laughs> it was nice to meet you, Koopa. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, cute. Oh, my God. Ah, Clive. I trust you're settling in. Oh, it's the cook. I'm actually getting used to one of those guys. I'm glad to hear it. <laughs> I was hoping you might be persuaded to come to my aid once more. Your services will be rewarded, of course. I don't doubt it. Seems to be the way around here. We strive to be better than those we once served. Now, as to the task itself, I am once again in need of a pair of hands to deliver sustenance to our esteemed companions. Oh my god. I have three meals for three industrious souls. What say you? Yeah, absolutely, yes. man. I'd be happy to help. <laughs> he takes his job Marvelous. seriously. I know. <laughs> the three individuals you'll be seeking out are busying themselves about the hideaway. Okay. I can go You'll surface. find one by the entrance, another in the bunks, and the other guarding the cells. Thank you once again, Clive. Yes, chef. I like how they, they use him <laughs> to be like, hey, remember there's other areas in the hideaway. Yeah, yeah. Somebody says go to the cells. Here's where they mean. Very clever. We just don't have enough teams to follow everyone. Well, it's, uh, it's good, because I don't think... I mean, we just came from the cells, I suppose. We were down in there. Yeah. But, well, not just came. We, but, you know, we didn't we know they there. were there until we discovered they were there. I think yeah. is the way to just we, say, like, woke describe up in that. One. Back so soon. Fancied another kip in the cells, did you? Oh, it's you. you. Can I see me? He thought you might be hungry. Here you go. Yep. 
<laughs> Take this. We have the a option to not. Meal. He wasn't wrong. The way my gut's been growling, I'd have curls running scared. <laughs> Guard duty down here can't be much fun. It's not. But sometimes folk need locking up, and someone has to watch over them. I help people sleep at night, and that's not a boast many can make. You keep yourself on the right side of these bars now, you hear me? Okay. All right. We just needed to cool down. Yeah. We, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and take our clothes off, apparently. Yeah, I don't know why we had to cool down completely in the buff. Why but are we completely naked? I don't know. That was un that was an unclear portion of that. <laughs> I don't know how we became completely naked. I don't know why we stayed completely <laughs> naked. Hmm, something smells good. For me, I hope. It is. Courtesy of Kenneth. Hey. It, was, it wasn't even like full fan service either. No, I mean, like they, I mean, they, they, they didn't linger. They were <laughs> yeah. just like, oh, by the way. Oh, my thanks. These birds are needy creatures. They don't like me running after the fat chocobo behind their backs. They must keep you busy. Ah, there's never a moment's rest. Probably for the best I eat down here, reeking of the staples as I do. I'd only put people off their food. And who has time to wash and dress for dinner when they've got little darlings like these to wait upon, eh? Anyway, thanks for the food, and be sure to give Kenneth my regards. Thank you. I like your voice, it's very nice. I did really like her voice. Chocobo handler. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then we got one more. So that was the stables, the cells, and then... The bunks. The bunks. Okay. Which is not a place we visited yet. I don't think so. No. Could really do with a proper piece of train. Oh, what I wouldn't give for yeah, some I didn't wild know this was over here. Yeah. No. Hi. Hi. Can I help you? Food. Kenneth sent me. Here's some food. Remember to eat. Drink some water too while you're at ah, it. <laughs> wonderful. Do you hear that? Our food has arrived. Does your appetite still elude you? Is he sick? Uh, I'm afraid so. Those no longer in need of a physica's immediate ministrations are sent here for further rest. I would be lost without the kindness of good people like him and yourself. Thank you. Of course. Okay. I think that's everyone. Yeah. All right. Must eat. I better let Kenneth know. Get back to Kenneth. Kenneth, we we have delivered thou meals. I didn't do it right, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> but you gave it an effort, and that's what matters. <laughs> Please, nobody correct me. <laughs> ah, you're back. All done? Wonderful. Here, your reward, as promised. Thank you, Kenny. Thank you. The hideaway is quite something. Everyone has their place. A fact we are proud of, believe me. I'm glad you've witnessed it for yourself. You have your place too, of course, as you have just so capably proven. And you will always have a place with us, should you desire it. It's kind of you to say so. It is the truth, and not a soul among us would deny it. I look forward to all that you will bring to our little community. He's such an RA. He is. <laughs> That's so true. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I like that about Kenneth. <laughs> You 100% is. <laughs> I got a gill bug. Nice. Yep. Great. <laughs> oh, you can sell that, right? That's I, just yeah. a selly. I think so. And then the other quest requires leaving. So let's go talk to Karen. Okay, let's do it. Do you Hello? have like things to say, Nectar? Uh, it's our little secret that we can talk. Cute. Yeah. Apparently we can understand Mughalese. What do you want? Maybe the hat. To say farewell. Oh. We're oh. leaving. Good decision. Better that than buried out there in the black. You've got a lot to thank that girl for, you know. I know. And I will. Now, mm -hmm. what do you really want? We both know you don't come here for conversation. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <A> little cat. <laughs> little cat oh, yeah. What's up, Koopa? Koopa. Hi. Nectar would be a cute name for a cat. Nectar would be a very cute name for a cat. Oh, Nectar. That's cute. Hi, Cory. Rook's Gambit. Hi. Reduces Rook's Gambit. Oh, cooldown. yes. I hear. I hear you. Do you have anything else to say? Anything else on your mind? 
You're rubbing me blind, yeah. you know. Yeah. <laughs> Off you go, then. <laughs> I'm best of luck. Okay. Thanks, Karen. I should probably say thank you to Gav, too. Yeah. Gav! We don't want to do it. We're going to interrupt him. Oh, he's not busy anymore. Okay. He he was given us privacy, not the other way around. Oh, I see. So your mind's made up, is it? We'll be leaving for Rosaria as soon as we're able. Back down memory lane, eh? Rosaria ain't what she used to be, Clive. And not since the Imperials moved in. First sign of trouble, you make straight for Martha's rest and ask for the landlady. She's a friend of the cause. Tell her you was Sid, and she'll help you out. Thanks, ma'am. Understood. Thank you, Gav. Yeah. I'd be lost without you. Really you really can't take I'm just doing my, oh my job. God. No need to make such a fuss. <laughs> What a f I I'm gonna be honest, what a delightful Take character core. Yeah. Right. <laughs> oh, I'm crap at goodbyes. Where is Sid when you need him? <laughs> Give him my regards when he gets back. A socially awkward rat I king. <laughs> I love him. No, you're looking great. Oh, girl, nice you're great. Outfit. That's so excellent. Ready, my lady. Ready. All right. Thank you, Good Gav. Good luck, Gav. Good luck to you. That was so funny. <laughs> we like, he was like, please get out of my bubble. <laughs> I know. But also, I just like, I want to show affection. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Clive's not, working on it. He's trying. <laughs> that was so <laughs> so Honestly, cute. Clive seems like a very affectionate man by default. He does. Yeah. He seems like he's basically uh, trying to relearn to be okay with that. Exactly. You know what I mean? Um. <laughs> but Gav's not a great target. <laughs> Maybe not. Yeah. Turtle's such a weird dog shape. I agree. <laughs> Rosaria. It's been 13 years. But this breeze. The smell of the grass is just as I remember it. You haven't been back either. I couldn't. Brand did keep a close watch on each other in the Imperial Army. You'd get beheaded just for knowing a deserter. The only way out was on a mission. I see. But mostly I was afraid. Afraid to go back. I know. But I'm here now. <laughs> Thanks to you. I do too. I like just how we should press on. Honest he is. Yeah. He is like a breath of fresh air as of main character. Does yeah. that make sense? No, I I I really, really enjoy mm -hmm. him. Yeah. Okay, what's your Nothing kit? At the top of the hill must be Martha's rest. Gav said the landlady's a friend. But can we say the same for her patrons? <laughs> oh. Imperials don't tend to take well to those with my mark. If anyone asks, I'm a branded soldier. Sworn to protect my noble mistress. Fair enough. Okay. I also like her so far too. I really like her voice. Yeah, I like her, her voice, voice a lot. Really good. <laughs> I like her voice a lot. Um, all the performances performances in this are great. Yeah, across the board. Like, incredible incredibly damn. strong. This uh Okay, we unlock some more stuff. I mean, if we, we do, we want to equip some of this now, or do you want to look at it off screen? And we like, can definitely have it... look at it off screen. Okay. I, I was holding off so I could get a bunch of points and decide whether I wanted to invest in like the big resurrection oh. ability, or 
Aerial what, blast. Whatever, whatever, Woo-hoo! whatever, whatever Woo! that is. That Woo! Cool. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty fun. That it keeps cool. going. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> Given our reaction, it might have to be that one. Actually, we don't have enough points for it anyway. No, uh, we don't have enough points for either. We're, but we're we're getting close. Yeah. Alternatively, I could master all of the the basic abilities, um, <laughs> which is useful. But but we get one more level and we can probably get whatever that aerial <laughs> blast is because holy fuck. Yeah, that, that, there's some truth to that. That's pretty cool. <laughs> um, so yeah, that, that, that's that's why I've been holding off. Gotcha. Okay. I, I have not been ignoring our, our abilities. I just wanted some, some uh, options. That's cool. Yeah, we're just hoarding them. Yeah, I mean, check out this new place we're at. This is gorgeous. This new old place. Friend or foe. Friend or foe. Friend or foe. Friend. Friend. Just be cool. neither. Look at the fuse on this one. Explains why there's a premium on Imperials. Maybe I should up your rations, build you mm. up a bit. But you love Some another. traitors. Okay. Ooh, there's a big old creature over there before Gina runs off and fights it. I, th- I was going to say that maybe we fight it next time. I think that sounds great. Big old buffalo. <laughs> so it looks buffalo. like like a naked mole rat buffalo from here. <laughs> yeah, it's like furred only on the underside. Yes, yeah. exactly. It's upsetting. <laughs> I don't love it. Don't um, but that. anyway, yeah, next time we will venture back to Rosaria and see whether we can intercept Joshua along the way and also get to know Jill a bit better. Yeah, that's sounds- ourselves. Uh, yes, we are. It, it's just a journey of discovery here. And some of it good, some of it not. But all of it is Clive, and we love him for yeah, it. I'm excited to be on it. See you next time, folks. Bye.